Hi and welcome to my third video in this series about muscles and today we're going to be looking at the different types of muscle fibre. And so within any um, person there are three major types of um, muscle fibres. One um, is referred to as a slow twitch or sometimes referred to as type 1. You also have a fast twitch and that's referred to as a fast oxidative glycolytic or a fog fibre and that's referred to as type 2A. You also have another type of fast twitch fibre um, and that's called fast glycolytic or FG and that's referred to as type 2B. Um, and so in any individual you have a mixture of these different types um, of muscle fibres um, and different people have different proportions of each. Um, and so that is determined by your genes um, and so can determine the types of sports that you may um, be good at or not so good at. Now looking at this diagram, um, this shows a motor unit. Now a motor unit is a, a neuron or a motor neuron and it's associated muscle fibres. And what I've got a diagram here of is a, a typical slow twitch fibre and a fast twitch. I'm not going to differentiate between um, fast oxidative glycolytic and fast glycolytic um, but I will explain in the course of this how they're um, subtly different. So the green line on here um, that shows it's just on here and then on the fast twitch, this one here, that represents the motor neuron. Um, and so the motor neuron is one that connects the central nervous system um, to the muscle. And you'll notice within the slow twitch fibre and the fast twitch fibre, it's much thicker, much larger um, in the fast twitch. If you look at these blue lines that you find here, um, there are three of those in a, in a typical motor unit in a slow twitch fibre and five um, in the fast twitch. Now obviously um, in reality there are, there are many many more um, actually within your muscles but I've just used three and five as an example here and you can see that not only are there more muscle fibres in a fast twitch but they're also the fibres themselves are actually larger that could give you a structural difference between the two. Um, those two things, the large motor unit and the large muscle fibre will explain why fast twitch fibres can produce a bigger force of contraction um, and contract usually quicker as well um, and that's a, that's a major key difference between the two. Um, the red lines and you see the slow twitch fibre have more of these red lines here and they represent the capillaries and so obviously um, a slow twitch fibre being better at aerobic would have a greater blood supply and therefore um, a greater number of capillaries that surround um, the muscle fibres. This organelle um, there is drawn as a mitochondria and obviously in a slow twitch fibre it's going to have many more of those because the mitochondria are the site of um, aerobic respiration and so you would expect slow twitch fibres because they're good at um, aerobic activities would have a higher number of uh, mitochondria. These kind of blue circles represent myoglobin and that's a um, essentially a protein that's involved in um, harnessing the oxygen from the haemoglobin and so the myoglobin takes away the oxygen from the haemoglobin found in the blood and it fixes oxygen within, this, um, or within the place where it's found. And so you can see here within the slow twitch it has a much higher amount than in the fast twitch. And again, that's because the slow twitch fibres are much better at aerobic events and therefore um, would have a much higher amount of myoglobin. Um, Phosphocreatine stores, which are involved in anaerobic, which is much more to do with the fast twitch fibres, um, there's obviously a greater amount within um, fast twitch because they they do more anaerobic respiration. And finally, um, the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The sarcoplasmic reticulum in fast twitch fibres is much, much more pronounced. That means that it's got a greater amount of calcium stores and so it can deliver the calcium um, quicker and therefore can contract quicker. So if you, if you kind of think about slow twitch being good at aerobic and fast twitch being good at anaerobic um, that kind of gives you the idea about the different types of things that they have and the different properties that they might have. The difference between fast oxidative glycolytic and fast glycolytic will be if for instance we were to have one in between here um, and if this was to represent our fast glycolytic if we were to have another diagram here um, showing fast oxidative glycolytic that would show slightly more or slightly less um, mitochondria than here and slightly more than here you'd see probably a slightly smaller proportion of PC um, than here but greater than here so basically a, a fast gly oxidative glycolytic lies somewhere between these two um, 
So this table kind of summarises the different types um, of muscle fibres. And so you have the type 1, the slow twitch, type 2A, fast oxidative glycolytic and type 2B, fast glycolytic. So the fibres per motor neuron um, gives you an idea about how many there are for each. And so obviously for the fast twitch ones there are more. Um, the motor neuron size, if you compared um, the type 1 and the type 2s, obviously the motor neuron is much larger in the fast twitch. Um, so if you, hence this diagram um, with the green line. The type of mice in ATPase, now in muscular contraction, um, ATPase is designed to break down the ATP and release energy. Um, there are different types found within um, each muscle type. And so within the slow twitch fibres, there's a slow acting ATPase and in the type 2A and 2B, it's a fast type. Therefore, um, the fast twitch fibres can contract quicker. The sarcoplasmic reticulum um, is much greater in the fast twitch. The, and so you've now got the functional um, issues to do with each muscle type. And so your aerobic capacity is obviously much better in type 1. The anaerobic capacity is much better within type 2B. Um, the contractile speed is fast in the fast twitch, hence the name. The fatigue resistance, so um, how they delay fatigue, obviously because there's much more oxygen present. Um, you can pay from the oxygen depth that's built up. Therefore, it's better in type 1. And the motor unit strength is obviously much higher um, within type 2A and 2B. If you join me on the next video, um, we'll, be, we'll be looking at motor units in a bit more detail and going into spatial summation and the all or nothing law.